So next, we're going to hear from David Keeter. He's no stranger to INCF. He's part of, he's part of the Neuro Imaging Task Force. Now you're leading, you're one of the members of the uh, NIDM uh, special interest group. So you're going to tell us a bit about what you guys have, what you're up to and what you've done. Right. Okay. Thank you. Um, so um, I'm the chair and my co-chair, Camille and I are the chairs of the neuroimaging um, data uh, model special interest group. Um, so just to give you, for those of you who aren't familiar with NIDM, just to give you like the uh, few sentence spiel on it, it's uh, we use provenance just like uh, we just heard about neuroshapes. Uh, basically we build a series of specifications on top of semantic web technologies um, and the prov family of specifications. We have um, a core of vocabulary and try to sort of push the semantic web uh, tools or terminologies, ontologies in our domain of neuroimaging. Um, the idea here is that um, we would uh, build these models for different stages of the scientific um, research process, make data more broadly discoverable and uh, reusable by um, having records of um, precisely what was done to the data, um, rich descriptions of the experimental protocols and the study populations, all the metadata and stuff that you can't sort of represent in um, the normal um, data formats that we use in neuroimaging. Um, this is a um, sort of a working group that formed out of the uh, INCF data sharing task force in about 2011. There were a few members at the NIDASH um, working group who were interested in how metadata and analyses and provenance could be described in neuroimaging. Um, we're also sort of graph nerds, um, and we like to work in the graph space, and we decided, you know, we'll try, um, try out these semantic web technologies and see how well they work and how flexible they are. Um, and to this day, we still meet um, almost every Monday morning. Um, anybody's uh, free and welcome to join. We have a... a online Google Hangout sort of meeting um, at the times you can see there. And um, if you go to, or the links will be at the end, but if you go to our um, Google Drive, you'll find our meeting minutes all the way back to 2012 and all kinds of information of what we've done along the way. Even any grants that have come out uh, or been written um, about NIDM, uh, we try to encourage people to make those available, all the code and everything else. So we try to just be open and transparent, and it's just a, a group of people who are interested in um, sort of pushing these technologies. So um, we, I just put this slide up because I wanted to mention that we have a few posters, 80, 82, and 84. Um, so kind of after this session, we'll be out there. There'll be some demos. You can see how some of these models look um, and uh, some of the tools that are available. So we had this uh, scientific um, or special interest group meeting on um, a few days ago. And uh, so if you're interested in seeing the notes for that meeting, again, everything's available. So I made this little bit.ly bit link. Um, IDM SIG 2018, so you can go there and you can see uh, the notes and things that were captured during that meeting. We had um, the participants you see there, and so one of the discussions, so it was a three-hour meeting, so we didn't really get a whole lot kind of done, but um, we did have some discussions on um, common data elements, and so this, this idea that, um, so people say people are marking up their data or making their data available in um, one way or the other, they use a concept, their whatever they collected for, say, handedness. They can maybe they collected handedness at Edinburgh. Maybe they asked a participant which you know hand you grab a broom with, and um, say you want to query across these data sets um, in a broad fashion. You know, without knowing what each individual data set collected, it'd be kind of hard to query across them. So this discussion is about. Um, how do we push, push the terminologies and the ontologies to say, you know, maybe we need to define sort of a summary or a federated common data element that says, you know, s simply binary. Uh, handedness was collected and um, maybe it was left or right. And then uh, you could use this to query across these data sets broadly. Uh, once you download the data sets, then you find out that data set one really collected the Edinburgh handedness scale and um, data set two asked these individuals what hand they grabbed the broom with and so forth. So kind of um, what do we need to do to the terminologies that we have available and the ontologies that we have available in our space of neuroimaging um, to facilitate uh, finding data and uh, subsetting it and use, reusing it essentially. Um, so then uh, along those same lines, we had a discussion about a standardized query API. So um, <clears throat> you know, could we define a high level query API? 
um, that folks who develop databases, folks who uh, develop semantic web applications, um, folks who work on data formats could sort of use to define um, queries for their data. And so the idea is that um, you know, it would be neat if I could issue a get project or what projects do you have query to a bunch of data resources that were available on the web and um, expected that they had implemented this where appropriate. And in, in some cases, you know, uh, data from databases aren't uh, broadly available and all you can get back is counts. So we had a discussion about um, <clears throat> what kind of queries uh, that would work. Um, amongst our communities. So maybe we have, uh, we all implement a query that says, just give me counts of what kind of, uh, how many subjects you might have in your database. So that kind of discussion. Can we come up with a spec for a standard uh, API and then all the different groups could go off and implement it? Um, and this would help, you know, application developers and people trying to find data and so forth. Um, worked with the NeuroShapes people, <coughs> excuse me, learning about shackle shapes, descriptors, and about how writing schema for your um, particular data format um, could be used by a tool called Apine um, for developing standardized query APIs, so very appropriate. So we had some discussions surrounding that. And then um, <clears throat> a subset of uh, folks went off and worked on a little project. Um, we had other projects that were sort of submitted for um, you know, things that people would like to do, have done during our special interest group meeting, but we didn't have time. So one of the projects, though, that did make some progress is uh, this, this, this project of um, being able to search through um, 90M documents or graphs with uh, data lads um, search routines. <clears throat> and um, so the uh, Camille and others with um, use 90M results documents, which you heard about yesterday. And so uh, 90M results documents are documents that contain results from mass neuroimaging sort of statistics and put them in this sort of RDF graph-based models. And the, the goal was to, you know, how can we facilitate queries with data lad uh, of these graphs? And so um, <clears throat> the top box, which I guess it's not highlighted in gray, but the top box is kind of what RDF looks like in a particular serialization format called Turtle. Um, and you can read that top line that says, uh, Neri ID1 is a 90M design matrix. That's a URI. You can go out and find out what 90M design matrix means um, and so forth. So then you read it, Neri ID1 is at prov location um, design matrix.csv and so forth. And so the idea is that you'd uh, prefer for tools like Datalad and probably a lot of other tools a uh, flatter sort of JSON structure um, that you can uh, query over without using query tools like Sparkle. <clears throat> and so they did make some um, progress uh, in that regard um, using um, indexing features of JSON LD um, and trying to sort of flatten out these graph structures. I mean, these are graphs, so you know, you can't really flatten it. Uh, to a tree without picking a node, but so, f but you know, get it as flat as we can, um, such that we can use some generic search tools within Datalad to um, find data within these graphs. And that's all I have. Um, we have a whole bunch of resources. Hopefully, these slides would be made available. But essentially, if you want to see the SIG notes, 90M SIG 2018 Bitly. Um, if you want to go to our Google Drive where we have all this information, 90M Drive, also a Bitly link, and then. GitHub under INCF-9-, there's a whole bunch of our repos. And that's it. <laughs>